Hello and welcome to the basic level of the Entrepreneurship and Corporate Entrepreneurship module. I am Henry Scott from the National Documentation Center of Athens. Here we will be looking into what exactly a business model is and how we can use it to present a business case. The term business model itself is often loosely used in the business world without fully being understood. It is sometimes used to refer to the revenue model or to the operating model, but a business model is much more than that. Before we start discussing business models, let us discuss what a model is and why we build models. A model is a simplified version of something. It is a scaled representation of a real object. The real object can be much larger or much smaller than the, the model representation. Models are often discussed in the field of architecture, where scaled-down models of buildings and other physical structures are used not only to help in the process of planning and construction, but also in understanding the design of existing structures. Models are also used in the field of engineering to showcase the design of physical products such as automobiles, aircraft, rockets, railways, ships, etc. Here is a very simple model of a computer network. And here is a more complicated model of a process, a flow diagram in fact, that maps out the different cases involved in the design of a piece of software. The ultimate goal is simple, to create our understanding of a real-world object while eliminating the unimportant detail. Dr. Alexander Osterwalder, a leader in the field of business model innovation, authored a book entitled Business Model Generation, a handbook for visionaries, game changers and challenges. There he gives us a very succinct definition of what a business model is. He states, a business model describes the rationale of how an organization creates, delivers and captures value. In essence, it helps us to visualize a complete picture of any business from a high level perspective. It is a framework that helps us understand how the various aspects of business come together and how they are inter interlinked. So we will now look, take a closer look at a few types of business model and at some of their benefits and risks. Perhaps the most common business model is the selling model. You may be selling a product, such as a device or a piece of equipment. Here the benefits are clear. The product units are well defined and standardized, so they are easier to price. It is easier to calculate how to scale up production. However, the risk factors include the shelf life of the technology, namely how long it is before it may become outdated. Also, any unused stock that's uh, left over, and also any um, hint factors affecting distribution. Alternatively, you might be selling a service. This typically relate, has relatively low startup costs. It can be flexible to suit the customer's needs and can provide a recurring revenue stream. However, on the downside, services can be difficult to price. It may be difficult, if not impossible, to obtain intellectual property rights uh, for your services. And as such, they may be easy for others to copy. When selling a subscription, customers pay a regular recurring fee and may receive regular product upgrades. This type of model is well suited to companies selling information or providing software and to online services. The licensing model, which is popular among inventors, involves lower risk but also lower rewards. An inventor may have a patent for their invention and although they may not wish to develop it into a product themselves, they may sell the rights to a company who could then try to develop the innovation into a commercial success. The advertising model is popular in the media. Traditionally, this has been mainly television and radio, but with the explosion of the internet, this has extended to web advertising. Here, the broadcaster, namely the television, radio channel or website, provides content and services such as a program, a video or a chat forum mixed with advertisements. For broadcasters, 
advertising is their main and sometimes only source of revenue. The hybrid mod model is simply a combination of any two or more business models. For example, you might go to the cinema where you will buy a ticket to pay for a service, namely to see a film. Before the main feature, you will see trailers advertising other films to encourage a repeat visit. The cinema ticket may include special promotions or discounts of food or beverages bought on the premises. Thus, as marketing strategies get more sophisticated, hybrid business models are increasingly used. Other factors need to be considered, such as the costs involved to set up the business and keep it running. This table gives a quick overview of some of the key advantages and disadvantages of the business models we have talked about. As you can see, the selling model, that is the three columns on the left, is favored by businesses with high volume outputs and so is commonly adopted by large companies with well-developed distribution channels. That said, the web economy has seen the emergence of new subscription models that are more easily scalable and are showing great potential for growth over time. The subscription models are favored by companies selling information or providing software. Licensing tends to be preferred by innovators who do not want to take on the risk and the corresponding potential gains or losses that are associated with preparing their idea for the market. The advertising model may be cheap to set up initially, but can become expensive without an effective marketing strategy so as to generate new sales and thus cover your costs and hopefully generate a profit. Hybrid models essentially aim to maximize the potential for business transactions with their target audience. I now invite you to check your understanding of business models by taking quiz one.